it's Deanna, welcome back to my channel. To get us through our quarantine blues, my mom had this great idea to every couple weeks pick a different country and we all pitch in and make this big meal, you know, dinner, drinks, dessert, the whole deal from this country and learn about it. And so that's what we did. Today is France Day, this is our first one. So here's my family. Hi. Dad is doing the virtual tour in the music. Yes. Mia is begging. Mom, what did you make? I made uh, French onion soup for our appetite, uh, for the first course. And coca van, which is basically chicken with wine and mushrooms, and chocolate mousse for dessert. Yes. Soufflé à la pomme de terre, which is just a potato oh. souffle, but it's got lots of cheese and breadcrumbs. Oh. It's gonna be real good. And I made that French bread and this blackberry French 75, which is delicious. And there's Calvin not helping at all. The first country we chose was France, and so we're all kind of pitching in to make different things from around France. And so right now, I'm going to attempt to make a gluten-free French bread. Let's go. First thing for this recipe that you need is one packet of dry active yeast, rice flour, tapioca flour, xanthan gum, which I'm just replacing with this all-encompassing gluten-free flour, salt, sugar, more sugar, butter, three egg whites, and white vinegar. So first in a small mixing bowl, you are going to dissolve your fourth of a teaspoon of sugar in a fourth of a cup of warm water. And you get that nice and dissolved. Once that is dissolved in the water, you're going to stir in your yeast packet and then set it aside to let it do its thing. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna set this aside and it says it should start foaming in five minutes. So now in a large mixing bowl, you're gonna combine, if you use the original recipe, you're gonna combine the rice flour, tapioca flour, and xanthan gum, salt, and sugar. But this gluten-free flour that we're using has all three of those things. So we're just putting in three cups of flour, salt, and not three cups of salt. It is three cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and two tablespoons of sugar. I have a little bit of France, um, but I'm looking forward to getting to go when we move over to Europe. Very excited for that. So I need you guys to send me all of your France recommendations, cities, places you've been, things to eat, things you recommend, things you don't recommend. So that was three cups of flour. Now we're gonna do one and a half teaspoons of salt. Let me double check this. I do that a lot. One time. So it is very important that you look at the measurements. Obviously you guys know this, but one time I did not read carefully and I was making my mom's spinach artichoke dip and I put, instead of a fourth of a teaspoon of paprika, I put in a fourth of a cup of paprika. It was not good. And two tablespoons of sugar. So now you mix this all up. Now we're gonna mix it up. Ta-da. So with the mixer running, you add in your yeast concoction here and one and one fourth cup of lukewarm water. So. Now that it's thoroughly mixed, we're gonna mix in two tablespoons of melted butter, three egg whites, and one teaspoon of white vinegar. Um, I've made bread before, but it's been a really, really long time. And I've never done it on my own, little on French bread. Now we mix it, we mix all this on high for three minutes. Now that we've mixed it, we're going to separate it out into two loaves on our greased pan. I don't have a French bread pan, so we're just going to make it work. So we're going to separate this out into two halves and then shape it. Here's our bread dough. I'm very excited about this, you guys. Know. 
You want to make sure your hands are wet when you're shaping the dough so that the dough doesn't stick to your hands. I have a plan before you do this because I'm not doing as well. If the dough does start to stick to your hands like it is to mine, just scrape it off, put more water on your hands, and do it again. Once you've shaped them, you're gonna cut little slits in it. So now you're gonna cover it, put it somewhere warm for 25 minutes, preheat your oven to 40 to 400 degrees, and I will see you in 20 minutes. Once your dough has doubled in size, put it in the oven for 40 minutes. If you have video suggestions, send them in to me, or if you have a country you want to see us research and cook through next, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye.